Welcome to the Rusted Garden. Today I want to show you how I prepare and use peat moss in my garden. I'm actually winterizing my beds, but you can do this process in the winter or you can uh, do it in the spring. Peat moss comes in a two cubic foot bale. Actually this one, sorry, is three cubic feet. This will cost you about $10. It comes dry, it comes compressed, and peat moss is actually resistant to absorbing water. So never just put straight dry peat moss into your garden. You want to uh, basically water it down and make sure it absorbs water before you use it. The way I do that is I get a 22 gallon container. There's about 10 gallons of dry peat moss in there. I'm also using only organic products in this video and I'm going to use at least half my beds purely organic next year in 2014. The way that I'm setting this up is I'm using one cup of bone meal. I just use a basic 8 ounce cup. One cup of bone meal. That's great for the phosphorus. One cup of blood meal. That's great for nitrogen. One cup of garden lime. That helps uh, raise the pH. Um, peat moss has a pH that's 4.5 to 5.5 depending on where you get it. And that's a little more acidic. Lime is alkaline, so what I'm trying to do is just throw in some lime here so this isn't too acidic. I know in, in uh, doing some soil testing, my garden tends to have a pH level of 7, so a little more acidic uh, peat moss isn't really going to change the pH value of my garden too much. The other thing that I'm adding in is two cups of garden tone, which is a 344, or I can't remember, maybe a 433 fertilizer. But this also has... Uh, micronutrients in it and right in here, I don't know if you can see it, but it has a colony forming bacteria. So this is going to put in a bunch of good bacteria into the peat moss, into my garden, and we'll see what it, what it does. It, uh, you know, boasts itself in saying that it helps promote growth. So it's two cups of this, one cup of garden lime, one cup of bone meal, and, uh, well, bone meal and one cup of blood meal. This goes into the 18 gallon container. The reason that you want to put it in first dry so that you can really just mix it all in. You're going to, you know, spend a good two minutes or so mixing this through. And you can see that it's dry, it's dusty. If you want to wear a mask, certainly go wear a mask. The next thing you want to do is really soak it down. And what you'll find is this water goes right to the bottom and peat moss will float. So once you put in some water, you basically just have to put your hand in and you can see that it's repelling water. You just have to really actually rub it and press it together and it'll probably take you a good five or ten minutes. So I'm gonna prepare this peat moss and I'll come back and show you the rest of the video. All right, I've soaked the peat moss down and again, peat moss is really, really dry when you get it, and it really doesn't want to absorb water. So you have to pre-soak it before you use it in your garden, because if you put in dry peat moss into your garden, sometimes it's just going to float. It's not really going to absorb the water. So soak this down. You really want to get it to a point where when you squeeze it, maybe a couple of drops of water come out. But that, no that lets you know that you've soaked the peat moss through, and it's ready to use in your garden. And again, just to review, I put in one cup of bone meal. This is a slow release fertilizer that adds phosphorus to your peat moss. I used one cup of blood meal. It's a slow release nitrogen supplement. I used one cup of garden lime. The lime is to raise the pH level of the peat moss. Peat moss is acidic, lime is alkaline. So by adding in lime, over the next couple of months of winter, this will help kind of neutralize the acidity. I don't really have to worry about that in my garden. I happen to know that the pH level of my garden is about 7, and I actually want to bring down the pH level to make it a little more acidic to 6.5. But if you were concerned about it, you could use two cups of lime in here. And then I also use two cups of garden tone, which is a 344 fertilizer, so it'll add some nutrients to the garden, but it also is called the Biotone formula, and it adds in I don't know if you can read it, but if you look at the uh, garden tone formula, it has um, a bunch of microorganisms, microorganisms in there and bacteria that are really to designed to help your garden soil come alive and help your plants thrive. And one thing that I'm trying to do this year 
is uh, in 2014 is really pay attention to my soil structure. I really want it to be a living, strong soil. So that's why I'm using a lot more organic products. So when you're preparing this, it's uh, about 10 gallons of dried um, peat moss into here. Put in your fertilizers when it's dry. Mix it in as you are then adding water and mixing everything around. You really distribute the fertilizers nicely throughout the product. So this is ready to be used in my garden. I'm actually going to do my next video on how to double dig your garden and that's what I'll be using this uh, prepared peat moss for. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out my blog at www.therustedgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.